For this section of the programming, what we're going to do is we're going to add a 442L, a Safe Zone 3 area scanner, to the I.O. tree of our GuardLogix configuration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on I.O. configuration. Actually, I'm going to go down to the Ethernet. So get down to the I.O. configuration. This is a SIP safe Ethernet device, so I'm going to put in a new module. We wait for that to open, and I'm going to do a search for a 442L. We have one safe zone, multi-zone SIP safety scanner. We're going to create that. I'm going to give it a name, like Safe Zone 3. And we're going to give it an IP address. This better match what we configured earlier using our boot P utility. So it's going to be a 192.168.1.3. So with that, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click Close. And you'll now see that the safe zone area scanner is now in my program. I started with a uh, program that has already been started. So we need a GuardLogix controller and we need a network to put it on. That's really all we have not done in this demo. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go figure configure that safe zone 3 area scanner. Everything's going to be good here. I always just work down connection. Uh, make sure that your inputs and your outputs are going as fast as you want them to. Make sure that your reaction time is set accordingly. You can change that in the advance. For this, I'm just going to run defaults. We're going to run at 20 milliseconds. This has the RPI has to be a multiple of five, so that's going to fit here. Usually, I run it a little fast, but for our demo here, what I mean is I usually run it a little faster than my safety task itself. So I might set that at 10 just to minimize our reaction time and make sure that we always have fresh information going into our scanner, into the program from our scanner module information I'm offline so I'm not seeing anything the next real thing here that I want to do is I want to launch the field set configurator within the guard logics programming environment I'm going to double click on that and that will spool up you'll see the little uh, scanner icon come up here it's loading uh, sometimes just to give it focus I click on that so I can see exactly what's happening behind the scenes as it's coming in with once we're, it's kind of configuring, it's setting up a scanner file, and here we are. So we'll start here with the next module.